Hola, my name is Mike. I'm your tour guide today. I'm taking you through the Colorado High Plains. It's going to be very beautiful, I guarantee you. If not, you can have your money back. Yeah, I do this because I love you guys. I love you because I love you. And I love myself. And I love my cat, Bailey, of course. He's a good guy. Sometimes. Hey, man. What's up? You know what, buddy? I don't always pass him. Never mind. I was going to throw my sandal at him. Heading to Canyon City right now. I just came from uh, a city called Buena Vista, Colorado. Beautiful, beautiful. Just so gorgeous. It makes all my muscles weak. Tourist season has officially ended and fall has begun, which means spots like this are more readily available. Nice, big, secluded spots, little secluded oasis. And this is, this is all BLM land, which you can stay on for 14 days, but then you have to move to a different spot. This is a nice little fire ring. Got a river right here, a little flowing river. Got the grill set up. Of course, there's my baby. Nice little spot. Colorado Mountains, there's a rumor, there's a legend of a giant mountain cat who can take down animals 20 times the size of himself. He's fierce, he's ferocious, his eyes, his eyes pierce the night, his name is Bailey. He stands a mere foot, three inches tall, weighs four pounds, and can take down a full-grown elephant. Now, really know how he can do that, but just go with the story. His claws are like razor blades. He will not hesitate to attack, to strike. His name is Bailey. <laughs> what am I doing? You know, every time I let him out of the van and let him explore, he always finds a cow patty to sit on. <laughs> and then he sits on the lazy boy chair. What's the matter with you? That's that's cow poo poo. What a life we live, huh? What a life. You know, <sighs> there's going to be those days where you wake up and say to yourself, God, this sucks, man. This really sucks. I have no wireless internet, no running hot water. I can't make my smoothie or cappuccino or whatever you used to do at home or your apartment. This really sucks. What, you know, this, why, why did I do this to begin with? Why did I start living out of my van in the first place? What, what's, why? You know, this makes no sense. You're going to question yourself and your ego is going to tell you, go back, quit. Quit. Go back to society. Get out of here. You know, nature doesn't want you. Go. Go back to the city. Go plug yourself back in. The heart's going to tell you a different thing. It's going to say, stay. See what this has to offer. See what nature has to offer you. How beautiful it is. And you feel a connection from your heart to nature. And once you spend enough time away from society and, and the grid and being connected to electricity and telephone and internet, and you spend time in nature you're going to realize what what's really important in life it's not money it's not fame it's not fortune it's not recognition it's all about family it's all about love laughter and life it's all about the present moment and living living right now not thinking about the past not thinking about the future what's going to happen in the future are you going to be okay are you going to be homeless you're going to be broke. You're going to be rich. What's going to happen? We lose sleep that way. Every time we think of the past, what happened in the past, or what might happen in the future, we lose sleep. We get anxious. We get nervous. And we don't, we don't need that. It's not, it's not part of our natural way of thinking or natural way of being. It's pretty cold outside. I'd say it's about 35, 40 degrees. I've got my little big body heater on full blast keeping me warm 
just watching the sunset over a small Colorado town. It's beautiful. It's, it's, there's no word to describe it. It's priceless. And this kind of freedom and liberation. I believe for the most part, the majority of us in our society are at a certain level of comfort. We know what time we're going to work. We know what time we're going to eat lunch. We know what time our TV show is going to come on. And we, we know that we're going to be entertained for an hour. And we know this, and it's a daily routine. And it's in this certainty that we lose ourselves. We really lose our souls. And many of us break free from society only to be condemned. But not all those who wander are lost.